Hi guys, well this is the last uh, clip on the chair. It's pretty much done uh, at this stage. Um, so the back is uh, repaired and re-glued, the top cross piece is fitted and the two cracks that are on the seat um, have been um, stabilized from underneath uh, and filled over. Um, and. Uh, I think it's basically reasonably turned out okay. It's uh, not perfect by a long shot, but uh, I think it looks reasonable. Um, certainly nothing creaks and squeaks anymore. Um, and uh, it's polished up reasonably well without me having to get into lots of uh, uh, lacquer repair and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, overall uh, I'm pretty pleased. So uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at uh, just the um, how I fixed the uh, struts from underneath, and um, so uh, you get a sense of uh, why that should last for a while. So here's the final fix on the underside of the seat. So basically, it's two hardwood spars fixed at either end, and then glued to the main seat surface approximately where the cracks are and then the cracks are also filled with full part epoxy so it seems to be nice and stable now so the, the top doesn't move at all so that will stop hopefully the cracks from uh, getting any worse and hopefully stop any new ones coming along uh, the other piece that I had to fix was this bar here at the back it was loose because the uh, wedges um, at either end had basically shrunk so I replaced them with uh, ebony uh, wedge um, and so that at least now transfers the load from the top into the side piece as well um, so it's transferred down so hopefully that will reduce any movement as well in the future um, and uh, so yeah pretty much ready to uh, return to its rightful home and uh, get back to uh, doing some uh, radio projects. <laughs>